Colleagues, in 2022, trade unions made the EU change course. We have now a European Union objective that 80% of workers should be covered by collective bargaining. The EU is not only talking about social Europe, but again standing actively on the side of workers. Collective bargaining means better jobs, better pay and working people having a say. From now on, we will push for the 80% through our organizing work and our political work. Romania is a case in point. Five years ago, in finance, we brought back the first sector collective agreement despite all anti-trade union laws. In ICTS and commerce, we rolled out sector strategies to organize across the industry. With the EU's 80% target in mind, Romania changed its law to make sectoral collective agreements the standard again. Our bottom-up organizing efforts are thus now reinforced by the EU's top-down pressure. And we can see similar stories emerging in Ireland and Spain already. Unieuropa will push for more EU support. Our first target is no public contract without collective agreement set in EU law. We launched this campaign at our conference in 2021. Now we have firmly anchored this demand on the EU agenda, not least with the support of 160 members of the European Parliament. 2023 will see a strong collective effort to win over the European Commission and the Member States. We will also reinforce our bottom-up work. Our organizing work is coming on leaps and bounds. EPOC, our organizing center for Western Europe, is building power with some of the strongest unions in the world. In 2022, we celebrated five years, of course, our Central European Organizing Center, and with SEOC, we established a center for Southeastern Europe too. We will use the extra leverage of the 80% target in this, our organizing work. Collective bargaining is not only about how many people we cover. For workers to have a real say, we need to expand its scope. We do this by making space for collective bargaining solutions in EU law and sharing union practices. Currently, our focus is on ending gender-based violence, ensuring ethical AI and securing fair remote work. The United Kingdom shows what happens when governments go against workers. We stand in solidarity with all workers and their unions across the country who are on strike now. Finally, there's war in Europe. Solidarity with the people and workers of Ukraine. Peace in Europe in 2023. I wish you all a good year of 2023, full of focus and success. Forward through collective bargaining, for Europe, for workers, for democracy.